Good morning, folks. Yes, that is the SDO AIA 171 loading beautifully to the site. We're on our way back to having our top satellite, but not quite there yet. First thing you notice at spaceweathernews.com is that on the right side is the Proba 2 swap. We've tossed the live stream on Space Weather News yesterday, so we had another option for live sun viewing. The other side is a bit of a crapshoot as our normal 193 orange view is not exactly calibrated correctly yet. You also can't really spot coronal holes on the 211 angstroms either. It does appear that 304, the red, and 171, which we saw at the start, are working properly and are loading to the site, but I've chosen the green 94 angstrom view for space weather news for the time being, so you can see both the sunspots and the outline of the darker coronal holes. You see it up there? So for now, things could be much worse. We've got live SDO and Proba images on the site, and we will roll right into solar flaring, which continued its uptick on the new sunspot groups you see here. Bit of complexity departing and making the flares, but we also can't rule out the trailing portion center disk. Nice beta polarity there. A solar wind, not exactly updating as we'd like, so we'll go to discover. Same setup, just different colors. Bottom to the top is temperature, speed, density, phi, and BZ. Yesterday, a faster portion of the Corona hole stream impacted Earth. You can see it as the higher purple readings over the last day, and it continued geomagnetic instability with some surprisingly strong disruptions registered at Corona. Top news. So late last year, we caught some flack for trying to quell excitement over the new particle from CERN. As more than 500 theory papers came out about it, we were labeled as dissidents, which may not be wholly inaccurate, but uh, when it comes to certain small-scale physics guys, it isn't that hard to tell when they've messed up. Definitive debunking of the particle existence. How about a super HD zoom on the moon? One of the oddest craters on our celestial neighbor is analyzed over at the Goddard Scientific Visualization Studio. Allegedly, impact triggered a lava flow away from our vantage there. Let's jump over to Europe, where lingering rain across the land will shift and allow the Icelandic low to shift towards the islands. We are going to stay in this region and pull the jet stream over the coming five days so we can see a dip form in that area that will shoot Arctic air southward, cause a bit of a cool down in the dip. Over to Vietnam, where this week's flooding has intensified. Sitting between India and China as they toss record flooding on the board is not exactly the best place to be. When the torrent gets this intense, there is nothing to do but get out of the way as fast as you can. Of course, the weather is worth watching way across the waters in the United States as well, as this tornado from Thursday afternoon in Omaha is the type of thing being seen across the storm zones. Monsoon taking a good swipe at the southwest, including Phoenix yesterday as well. Been a couple rough days in the low-lying areas there. Folks, it's Saturday, so our Fly on the Wall podcast is coming in just a few hours. We've got a DAP 2030 coming on today, plus the comet that hit the sun, a full rundown of the last weekend, as always, some incredible articles and news. Become a member for just $4 and access the podcast and hundreds of hours of other material. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.